Saving time while performing a Wi-Fi site survey is now easier than ever. The AirChat G3 will allow you to not only perform a site survey, but it will allow you to perform three types of site surveys at the same time. You could do active surveys, passive surveys, and even Bluetooth surveys all on the same walkthrough. So in this video, we will show you how to perform three site surveys at the same time or on the same walkthrough using your Archer G3. And the way it works is pretty straightforward. First, let's start by configuring your active survey. To use one of the AirChat G3 Wi-Fi radios to perform an active survey, you just need to expand in the notifications toolbar on your AirChat G3, go to the Wi-Fi icon on the upper left of the screen, tap and hold, and then select the network you want to connect to. In this case, I'm already connected to this network called Ally Corp 5 gig. But if you wanted to perform an active survey on a different network, just select the network you want and provide the credentials that are required. Meanwhile, to perform a Bluetooth survey at the same time or in parallel, the process is as simple as just, again, going back to the notifications bar on the Archive G3 and turning on the Bluetooth radio. Now that the Bluetooth radio is on, the Air Mapper app on the Archive G3 will allow you to perform a Bluetooth or BLE site survey in parallel while you're doing your Wi-Fi surveys. Now that one of the Wi-Fi radios is connected to the network you want to survey, the Bluetooth radio or BLE radio is on, then the next step is basically to open the Air Mapper app. While on the Air Mapper app, you just need to validate that the second Wi-Fi radio is configured to perform a passive survey. So you can go to the settings, go to survey mode, and make sure that the current scan option is selected, or basically a passive survey option. After that, you can also select which channels you want to scan, which bands you want to scan, and even for how long you want to scan each channel. So you can basically change the behavior of the Wi-Fi radio to simulate that of other devices if you want to. Then go back to your floor plan. You can rotate the floor plan if you want to. Tap on start. The little pop-up down below will tell you which radios are being used for the site survey. And then when ready, you start tapping and walking around the site. When done, just tap on the stop option. And now basically, you will have the option of one, exporting the data to Air Magnet Survey Pro by saving it locally and transferring it to your PC with Air Magnet, or you will have the option of uploading the results to Link Live. After uploading the results to Link Live, just select the site survey project that you just uploaded, then click on Wi Fi survey if you want to review the Wi Fi site survey data, both active or passive, or BLE survey if you want to review the Bluetooth survey. For this example, I'll just take a look at the Wi Fi survey data. And here you have your survey results. So now you can, for example, look at the signal strength or other metrics. You can show or hide the path. You could show the access point locations. You could filter by specific networks if you want to, and so on. And well, uh, that's it, guys, uh, quick and simple. If you want more information on how to perform multiple site surveys in parallel or at the same time with an Archie G3, hey, feel free to check us out at netally.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.